The Russians continue to increase their military presence in the Zaporizhia region. The enemy has already pulled almost 90,000 troops to this section of the front, and over the past three weeks it has grown by another 2,000 occupiers. However, such a number of Russian servicemen is insufficient for an offensive campaign, so only positional battles are taking place in the Zaporizhia direction. No evidence of the enemy forming an offensive fist has been found. The operational situation in the Zaporizhia region with the buildup of enemy forces was reported by Dmitry Likovoy, a representative of the operational group of troops, Tavria. He confirmed that recently an increase in the territory of the Zaporizhia region of the Russian Federation troops has indeed been recorded. In total, there are already about 90,000 of them in the region, and another 2,000 occupiers have recently been added. Given the growing number of Russian troops, Likovoy hastened to reassure, the enemy has little strength for an offensive. The formation of offensive detachments is not recorded. However, our intelligence says that there are no abrupt, significant changes that would influence the change in the nature of military operations, and no signs of the formation of an offensive enemy group have been identified, Likovoy said. A representative of the Tavria explained that the total number of Russian troops in the Zaporizhia and Kherson regions is not enough to advance further than the line they occupied earlier. The enemy is not capable of actively fighting in several directions of the front at once, so it resorts only to positional battles. Это на войну отправляются. Стоят уже, скоро их подкрепят. Поедут. Там их целый ряд. Вот уже тут стоял один ряд, их отвезли. Расчет к бою. Прицел 266. Уровень 2998. Угломер 5373. Навести, зарядить. Russian army claims it killed 50 Western instructors in missile attack. The Russian ballistic missile attack on northeastern Ukraine's Kharkiv region killed dozens of Western military instructors, state media reported, citing Russia's defense ministry. An Iskander-M missile defense system launched an attack on the temporary deployment point of instructors and mercenaries from Western countries in the locality of Dahachi, Kharkiv region, the state-run TASS news agency quoted an unnamed defense ministry source as saying, The city of Dahachi is located around 12 kilometers northwest of the Kharkiv region's capital city. As a result of the strike, about 50 foreign instructors were killed, the source added, without specifying when the attack took place. No other details were provided. In March, Moscow claimed its forces had killed nearly 6,000 foreign volunteers fighting on the side of Ukraine since the start of the full-scale invasion in February 2022. Shortly after Russia launched the invasion, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky announced the creation of an international territorial defense legion consisting of foreigners fighting on behalf of Kyiv. 
In May, Russian President Vladimir Putin said that Western instructors are sustaining losses in Ukraine. Specialists are staying there under the guise of mercenaries, he said, commenting on documents legalizing the presence of French instructors at Ukrainian army training centers that were signed by Ukraine's commander-in-chief Alexander Syrsky. There was a question about long-range precision weapons, Putin went on to say. Who runs these weapons? Who services them? Of course, it is these instructors that are disguised as mercenaries. They are there and are sustaining losses, Putin said, and it is becoming more and more difficult for them to conceal these losses. Maybe it's time to say that they are officially present there to show actual losses officially, he added. Western parliamentarians and journalists are discussing the options for sending in troops, while the mood in Russian pro-war media ranges from dismissive to alarmed. However, most experts believe that boots on the ground fighting alongside the Ukrainian army are most likely out of the question. But deploying troops to the European border with Belarus, training the Ukrainian military in-country and offering assistance with demining defensive fortifications and cyber defense would be a great help and would not threaten direct escalation, especially since the Kremlin does not have the resources for bringing the war directly to NATO.